Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. We will be going over developing teaching resources using Adobe Spark. By the end of this session, participants will be able to navigate to spark.adobe.com, start a new Spark project, create and share, navigate tools in Adobe Spark, use the learning path outline to start a program idea, and begin the process of creating a learning path in Adobe Spark. Here's some information on the basic tools. So using this little plus sign, once you've started your project, you will either add a photo, text, you'll create a button, you can input a video, you can add a photo grid, and you can add a glide show. Now let's start from the beginning and create a web page. We're going to create a web page. You can select a web page. You can also choose from templates that are listed below. So in selecting a project, you start by adding a title. So you have your title, you can add a subtitle, we'll just call it Techno Mocha. From there, you can add, you can actually add a background photo. And I'm going to go ahead and go into my images and having a pre-loaded um, folder for your resources is helpful when you're doing instruction. You also can choose from themes. And with themes, you have different options. There's medium. And this is actually going to um, also affect your, um, your whole web page that you're creating. See how your green color below is, it's lighter here. And then with dark, it works like that. So that's your project that I'm already working on. Now, the, this is my creating teaching resources using Adobe Spark. And this is actually the photo grid. So it's really more of a background image that is created versus an actual glide show, which in the glide show, it you put in images for your background images. Now on this glide show, I was actually showing the process to start a project. You can um, set up your step-by-step -step process. So navigating to Adobe Spark, showing select the blue button. So it really is a nice option to show you step-by-step um, actions that you have to take and so I really found this to be a very valuable resource you know in in seeing the work that I have been learning so far I've seen that it's um, been very helpful to have and be able to show the step-by-step -step process so this was actually really easy to do just by um, selecting my um, image captures with my computer and then putting each step in and that really um, works very nicely. From there, in sharing your resource, you actually just go to share, publish and share the link. So whenever you make changes, you do want to update your link. And it takes a little bit of time to do that, really not a whole lot of time. And then you want to copy your link and once you copy it, it really is as easy as putting it into an email, pasting it into your browser. And then once you're using your active link, it works nicely and you can actually have access to a whole lesson plan that you have put together. These are my active buttons and let me show you real quick. This is my learning path outline which shows you um, just the outline 
in red describing each step that we're going to do. And then you have access to um, different videos, information um, that you want to include as part of your lesson. So you can have videos to your opening and closing. I have Sir Ken Robinson um, giving an, a session on creativity, um, creating meaningful learning objectives. Um, it links right to the video and you can watch that video. So it is a great resource to have a full lesson plan together that can be used either for individuals just coming in and learning or as in a group teaching session. So that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me at mccartney at Thank you for your time.